so welcome to the thing. I'm driving. No, you're not. Katie! Hey! Hey! Get back here! Give me the key! Please open the door. Oh my god. Get out. You get in. Look, if anything happens to this thing, we're gonna be jobless and in debt for the rest of our lives. Oh, come on. Nothing's gonna happen in this car. I'm the Asian Jeff Gordon. I don't know who that is. Please get out of the car. Sean, we've been friends for 10 years. Okay, you know I'm not an idiot. Please, get in. I'm, I'll go slow. <laughs> Plus, I had just moved to the U.S., so I was struggling with my English, and I was on my way to lunch one day when this guy that was like twice my size yells at me from down the hall, what's up, Gangnam Style? So I yelled back, I'm not Korean, idiot. And I turn the corner and I see this guy drop his backpack, he's getting all up in his face. And right before he's about to throw the first punch, Katie comes out of nowhere, steps right between us, and starts screaming the lyrics to Hotel California. What? <laughs> it's the art of confusion. Works great on stupid people. And that's how we met. And then I pulled him into the parking lot. At which point she revealed that she had also swiped the keys to the guy's Mustang. Yeah, we went on a little joyride around the block. And your wife was in the car, too. That's true, you were. What? I was just in the back seat. That's a part of the that's car. still a part of the car. How have you never told me this story? You know, before she was a lawyer, your girl was pretty wild. Oh, what happened? I grew up. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? Katie, you're a valet driver with an honors degree from Berkeley. And Sean can speak like four languages. You've always been the most talented people I know. I just don't get why you're scared to actually use it for something serious. Wow. You sound like my mom. You also dress like her a little bit too. <laughs> Where's this from, Talbots? <laughs> We're not running from adulthood. How is it running to have jobs that you actually like? Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense. Did, like, did, did you think valet parking is easy? No, it's like the most challenging job ever. You need people skills, driving skills. Still can't even parallel park. <laughs> well, it's almost midnight. We got the early shift. Should probably be responsible, go to sleep. Yeah, we can be responsible. We can do that. Or. Sorry for my unacceptable job and for staying out late last night trying to enjoy my life. But one day I'll make you proud, I promise. I'm proud of you, sis. Parking cars is super hard. Thanks, bro. Maybe one day you'll pass your driver's test and live the dream like me. Come on, Sean, let's go. Look at that girl. She's writing a research paper on a bus. So? That is exactly the daughter my mom wishes came out of her vagina. I'm sorry about her. You have the wrong guy. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro. You okay? That's how old I was when he sent me on my first assignment. I was willing to do anything he wanted. If he asked me to burn the world down, I would have asked him Be for Be for vegetarian. Me. Roll out of the chicken, so I can only offer you beef or vegetarian. Um, vegetarian would be great. Mm -hmm. Same. Okay, thank you. So... Oh, we're out of the vegetarian too. Now we only have beef. Beef, because that's all you have, right? Okay, you'll have the beef. Yes, and beef. and the beef. Two beefs. I should also probably mention that my name's not technically Sean. What? What is it? It's Shang Chi. Shang Chi. No, Shang Chi. 
Shanti. Shang. Shan. Shang. Shan. S H A N G. Shang. Shang. Yeah. You change your name from Shang to Sean? Yeah, I don't. I wonder yeah. how. I wonder how your father found okay, you. I was 15 years old. All right. What is what is your name change logic? You go into hiding, okay. and your name is Michael. You go on change it to Michael. That's that's not what happened. It, you, it's like, hi, my name's Gina. I'm gonna go into hiding. My new name is Gina. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can hear. Change it. I'm going to find my brother, Xu Xialing. I've heard of him. This is his address. Hey, Xu Xialing. 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 Hey, Xu
As if they were riding horses. I still can't get my head around it, to be honest. This is really cool and all, but how long do we have to sit here? Morris is very clear. The way through, it's all about timing. Okay, but how long are we talking? Like, hours? Days? Friends. I am but a transitory vessel for the infinite wisdom of a creature far more advanced than we will ever truly understand. What he sees, what he feels of this vast unknown universe is beyond anything our simple brains can... Oh! You can go. What? Go! You can go, he says go. Oh! That's a weird horse. I'm not a threat. Just an entertainer. Morris can vouch for me. I just love how you guys know exactly what you want to do, and you spend your whole life getting really good at it. I wish I was more like that. It's like every time I get moderately good at something, I just quit and start something new. But I just know my own limits, and I'm not going to waste my time chasing something that will ultimately be a disappointment for me. That's not me. Those things are going to kill us all if we don't work together. You think I'm going to fall for that? Your weapons are useless against them. We don't need your help. We are the mighty ten should work together. Release them! Release them! Calm down, mate. I'm not dead, it's just a performance. Now get down here, play along. Best. I seriously thought we were gonna die. And I had only learned how to shoot a bow like a day earlier. Now I'm on a battlefield killing all these soul suckers with Sean's auntie, who's, who's this awesome, magical kung fu goddess. And I'm hanging out of the Great Protector with my sister at this point, trying not to get eaten by the mega soul sucker. Oh, the mega soul sucker was such a nasty bitch. Yeah, I was trying to eat her dragon soul. Which would have allowed it to destroy the entire universe. Yeah. I only had one arrow left, and all I could hear in the back of my mind was my mom's voice saying, just take the shot, you little mooch. And so I aimed right for the sucker's throat, and I let her fly. She hit it dead on. And then Sean used the Ten Rings to, like, do this, like, crazy Kamehameha fireball that exploded the thing, and he saved the world. Are you done mocking me? Oh, no, we're, we're not mocking you. Two weeks ago, you were parking cars for tips, and you want me to believe you're now saving the world from soul-sucking monsters. I know you're trying to get me back for what I said last time, but I am not going to apologize for speaking the truth as a friend. I really meant what I said, and in fact, I actually think this whole bit you're doing just further proves my point. You guys are obviously... What? Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi? Uh, here, present. I'm so sorry, I have to deal with this. You can get my number from Bruce. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah, I, I, I don't have her number. She, she, she does this a lot. Welcome to the circus. Go home. Get some rest. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, we probably should do that. Or... Thank you.